with bushcraft uh, in, in the tactical world, I, I believe the tomahawks kind of had a, a resurgence. Lots of people really, really like them. They like them for different uses. They like them for different reasons. Uh, I want to take a look at kind of the difference and if they're interchangeable between uh, traditional tomahawks and tactical tomahawks. I have four of my tomahawks here. Uh, I'll start with a couple of the more traditional ones. First off is my cold steel trailhawk, right? Beefy, tough, uh, very, very versatile. Use it for a lot of different things. I've had this for years. I've taken it all over the country. I've abused the crap out of it, and it's come back for more. Pretty cheap, too. I think you'll know, get them for under 30 bucks most of the time. They don't come with a very good sheath, um, but they're cheap, and they're pretty rugged, like I said. So that's kind of your lower end traditional type tomahawk. Like I said, I'm going to do a, a series on this, and we'll just talk about kind of the different types here and, and maybe a little bit of the differences. The uh, another traditional hawk talk, oh, geez, tomahawk I have here is uh, from Chase Wild, and he's uh, a young man, 17 years old, starting to making tomahawks and knives, kind of uh, black powder style stuff, style things. I can't have trouble talking already, but. Uh, it's got an O1 bit in it, a little bit more expensive, you know, you're talking 40, 50 bucks maybe. Uh, and you can get obviously higher end tomahawks. But with these more traditional type tomahawks, one of the things that I notice on them as opposed to uh, some of the tactical ones, usually they have wooden handles. The tactical ones usually aren't going to have wooden handles. Uh, this is good and bad. Uh, wooden handles a lot easier to replace than a metal handle was or a composite type handle. So that's something to think about. Something else with these that usually isn't the case with the tactical tomahawks is that we can remove the head and we can use the head for a lot of different things. And I've done videos on that. I use it for ice chisels, for an ads, for uh, for splitting wedge, for all different types of things. And that's really where I think kind of the uh, the traditional tomahawk shine in that aspect is that the wooden handles allow you to take these heads off and do different things with them. So that's one major difference there for me. Now on the tactical side, you got a kind of couple of pretty different hawks here. Uh, one, the first one is the uh, the Chogan, and it's actually inspired by RMJ tomahawks, which I hope to get one one of these days. But I got to save up my pennies to get one. Uh, I'll do a review on one of those two, beat the crap out of it. This is uh, made by Columbia River Knife and Tool. Comes with the Kydex plastic sheath. Uh, makes some claims and so far it's held up to all of them. I've wrapped the handle. Uh, this has been through car doors, car windows. I've smashed it into uh, masonry walls. I've done a lot, a lot of stuff with it. You can see how beat up it is. Now on higher end of tomahawks, this one's kind of expensive. You know, you're looking at over a hundred dollars. Has it held up? Remarkably so. I've touched up the edge a few times with a file and that's it. And I've literally cut uh, slices down car doors. Uh, cut through the posts on, on doors and really abuse the crap out of it. Used it to pop locks. I'm um, really giving a beating. So it's come back for more. I don't know if a wooden handled tomahawk is going to hold up to something like that. All right, But it's a little bit more expensive than both the traditional tomahawks. Now on the low end of, this, of, this, <laughs> of the deal is this SOG. You got these fast hawks. Right? You can get them at Walmart for like 20 bucks or so sometimes. The thing that's kind of cool about these, and something I didn't mention about the Chogan, but this one has the, the squared off end on it, so it's like the hammer pole, uh, so it's more like traditional style, and that's why I got it, because I want to use it in the woods also. But this one has a few advantages also, because it has a spike on it, right? That spike, you can really get some good penetration with things, uh, use it to break, uh, pry. I basically got this tomahawk for one reason, and that's so I could throw it at stumps, and <laughs> throw it out in the woods. And I really can't believe it's held up as good as it has. I beat it on other tomahawks, and this one's going to be going to the car a lot too to take a beating and see what it can do as far as the tactical side of it goes. Uh, we might even take uh, the trail hawk out there. And I kind of hate to do it because I know what's going to happen to it, but we'll take it out and whoop on some cars with it too. But just for this first video and this first post, I just wanted to kind of go over a few of these differences. So most of the time, you know, you're going to have wooden handled versus composite handles, maybe a squared off end versus a spike. And I know there's spike uh, and traditional tomahawks, but by and large, they have a squared off pole most of the time, um, as opposed to the to tactical ones. Uh, blade shape can also be a lot different. You're going to have a pretty traditional blade shape with uh, 
your more traditional tomahawks. They're not going to be sharpened on either tops, the bottoms. With these tactical ones, they can be sharpened all over the place. Top edges, bottom edges, right? This whole top ridge can be uh, sharpened. So it's something to think about. Uh, and we'll delve a little bit farther into it. We'll both put them to, some, to all these as some chopping tests. Uh, we'll put them to breaking glass, uh, chopping into vehicles, things like that. So then you can kind of make a decision what might be the best tomahawk for you.